Thank you. Um, so uh, right now we're going to give a user's guide um, to A1 homotopy theory um, for doing arithmetic uh, enrichments of enumerative results. Um, so uh, some things we wanted uh, last time is we wanted to be able to form a space uh, Pn over uh, Pn minus 1. Um, so um, this is a, a co-limit. Um, so if we uh, want maps out of Pn over Pn minus 1, um, that's the same as a map out of uh, Pn uh, and a map out of the point which agree um, when you compose with, with those maps from, from Pn minus 1. Um, uh, so um, uh, uh, another example um, of a colimit, if you have open sets, so example, uh, example, if we have open sets, U and V, the union, Uh, is um, a, a colimit of, of the two. Um, uh, so uh, we'd, um, we'd like to uh, be able to glue, um, glue schemes, crush schemes, treat schemes like uh, topological spaces. Um, uh, so we want to glue, crush, schemes like topological spaces. This doesn't happen in schemes. And we also want um, uh, smooth schemes to behave like smooth manifolds, like having small neighborhoods around points that look like balls to do the sort of degree um, uh, construction that we had yesterday. So treat smooth schemes. like manifolds. Um, I think for our purposes, it's, um, uh, it's, it's all right um, to view the existence of this theory as a license to do, to do such things, but we'll give a, a quick and dirty um, construction. Um, so we'll uh, construction of the A1 homotopy theory. of Morel and Vavodsky. Um, uh, so we, we wanted uh, co-limits, um, so we're going to add them. So let's let smooth K be the uh, smooth schemes over K, and any maps between them, not necessarily smooth. Um, and we have a Uneda embedding uh, taking a smooth scheme to um, the functor from smooth schemes opposite um, to, to set, um, taking y to the morphisms uh, to y, um, uh, we're going um, to we're going to want uh, these colimits to have nice properties. Like if you replace the things you take the colimit of with equivalent uh, objects, you, you want to get um, something equivalent um, back. So we're going to want to take homotopy colimits. Um, so we're going to, instead of doing sets, we'll do simplicial sets, we could, which we can think of as like topological spaces. Um, uh, this has um, colimits, and we can think of it of um, uh, this um, this category of functors uh, as as freely adding um, homotopy colimits. Um, but we we want to um, uh, sort of say say a word about uh, what we're building. We're going to be building a homotopy theory of spaces. Um, so a uh, homotopy theory can be, uh, can mean 
uh, simplicial model category. Um, uh, so our, our HOM spaces uh, are simplicial sets. Uh, are, are, it, it's a simplicial set, and we have a notion of, of weak equivalences um, and vibrations uh, and co-fibrations, um, or it can be an infinity category. Um, uh, both have notions uh, of an associated homotopy category. Uh, uh, um, both have notions of, of weak equivalences. Um, uh, and um, this, um, we'll call it pre-sheaves on smooth K, um, uh, has the structure of a simplicial model category or an infinity category. So functors smooth K op, and we'll think of this as a homotopy theory in one of these senses as um, freely uh, adding um, co-limits. And the problem with this is uh, that we want example two um, uh, to give co-limits um, in our new spaces so uh, had co-limits from two in smooth uh, K, we can glue open sets of schemes together and get other schemes, and we want those still to be gluings um, now that um, we're allowing ourselves to glue other things. Um, so we need to, to add that back. So fix, we can force um, uh, we can force these colimits to remain colimits by um, we can force uh, maps certain classes of maps to be weak equivalences in either context. Um, using uh, a tool called Faust field localization. Um, uh, so we're going to, for an open cover, um, uh, U, maybe a disjoint union of U alpha uh, to X, um, we're going to force the check nerve, um, we're going to force this map to be an equivalence, um, or we'll make a simplicial object. Um, uh, out of this map um, uh, in a way that maybe we'll, we won't be precise about, um, but it's uh, ensuring that the associated gluing uh, remains a, a gluing in our um, uh, spaces. So we can force those uh, to be weak equivalences, um, and with this Bauss field localization, um, we get um, a localization functor. Um, uh, and sending to a new homotopy theory that we could call sheaves. Um, uh, and uh, let's call this um, L tau for tau a growth indeed topology. Um, so uh, that means that certain certain classes of, of maps uh, are declared to be covers, um, and our, our choices um, we can have the Zariski topology um, uh, on on schemes. We can have the Niznevich topology that we'll say a word about um, because that's a, a good a good thing to do in a user's guide to a one homotopy theory. And we can have the Atal topology. They're more open sets going this way. Um, so um, we're going to take an aside on topologies. Uh, so um, let's let um, f x to y be a map, not necessarily smooth, but uh, a map between smooth. Remember, this was the full subcategory of, of schemes on smooth, smooth objects. Um, and then F is a tall. 
uh, at x if the associated map um, on, on uh, tangent spaces or cotangent spaces is an isomorphism. Um, so uh, a, a map is a cover if it's a tall and surjective. Um, is in a tall cover uh, if it is a tall and uh, surjective. Um, and there's a more stringent requirement to be a Nisnevich cover, um, namely that uh, you must have a point over every point of X that has the same residue field, so we are going to keep track of um, the, the residue fields of the point. Uh, uh, is a Nisnevich uh, cover if it is an Atoll cover. Um, and for every uh, X and X exists U and U such that the induced map on residue fields K of X to K of U, oops, U, uh, U mapping to X is uh, an isomorphism. Um, so uh, this, um, this topology has some nice properties. Um, the, uh, from a smooth uh, scheme, you can take an atoll map to, to AN, and if you have an inclusion of smooth schemes, that atoll map uh, 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 can take the smaller scheme to a sub, um, so, so uh, nice properties of the Nisnevich topology, like the atoll topology, inclusions, uh, closed immersions, uh, can often be viewed with maps going down, so it's a little a little different from saying locally. If, um, if depending on what you mean by uh, locally, uh, can often be viewed as inclusions of affine spaces. And we wanted to treat um, smooth schemes uh, like affine spaces. Um, uh, it has uh, descent um, for for K theory. Um, its uh, cohomological dimension is the Krull dimension. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's got some, some nice, you can compute uh, cohomology with, um, uh, with check, uh, um, uh, uh, check complexes. Um, so, so maybe uh, there, there's some nice ones listed in Morel Vavodsky's original paper. Um, and so, so we'll, we'll leave that, that like that. Um, so uh, we're going with this Nisnevich topology. And we've got um, a homotopy theory of sheaves. Um, uh, in order um, to have our, have our little balls around points, um, uh, we're going to want to invert A1. So that's, that's the end of our aside. And now um, uh, we're going to force, so we had smooth K going into the pre-sheaves um, on smooth K. This was these functors from smooth K op to simplicial set viewed as a homotopy theory. Then we localized with the Nisnevich uh, topology and formed sheaves. Um, and now we're going to force the maps X cross A1 to X to be equivalences. So we're forcing A1 to be contractible, and we'll get another uh, localization, LA1, and a new homotopy theory, um, which is the one that we wanted. So uh, is the A1 homotopy theory that we intended to construct. And I think that was all um, I was going to say uh, about, about that. Yes. 
NIS, like for choosing the topology. Um, okay, so uh, let's um, then now that now that we have this construction, let's let's use our license to to do um, to do some things we like to do with topological spaces. So let's make some spheres. Um, uh, the smash product of two spaces. So given uh, pointed spaces uh, x and y, the smash product uh, is the um, the quotient of x cross y by x cross a point union a point uh, cross y. Um, so, for example, um, uh, in classical topology, the smash of an n-sphere and an m-sphere is an uh, m plus n-sphere. And uh, in uh, a one homotopy theory, we have these spheres because we could take the constant um, functor. So we have these functors to simplicial sets. And in particular, any simplicial set, any topological space is, is, living, um, is living in our, in our new A1 homotopy theory. Um, uh, so uh, our, our new spheres uh, are going to be formed from smash products of GM and S1, or uh, A1 minus uh, the origin, and then we can make uh, new spheres. There's different notation um, for, for spheres, uh, so S. This is the smash product of P copies of S1 and Q copies of uh, GM. And uh, some of these have, have names that uh, we already know. So we can build uh, P1. It's got uh, an A1 plus a point at infinity, and we can turn around that cover and make an A1 neighborhood of that point at infinity. And they intersect in a GM. Um, but we've made these contractible, so that's a point. Um, so we're taking a, a colimit um, of, so, so P1 is this colimit of these maps to GM to a point. So we get to conclude that P1 is the suspension of GM. So it's S1 smash GM. Uh, we can, um, we can do, um, uh, An minus the origin is uh, S1 n minus 1 times and GM uh, n times. Uh, so we can, we can do this with induction and uh, the, the colimit where we look at An minus the origin as uh, the union of An minus 1 minus the origin cross A1 and uh, An cross A1 minus the origin. And um, this is An minus 1 minus the origin cross A1 minus the origin. And again, um, these we can forget about uh, these pieces. Um, and uh, so when you have this uh, homotopy colimit for these projection maps, so it's a general, um, uh, let's say, say exercise, um, that when you have a, a colimit of this form, that uh, what uh, shows up here um, is uh, the, the suspension of, uh, of X mesh Y. Um, so then, uh, by induction, you know, we've got one GM here and um, uh, the previous version there, and then one more suspension. Uh, so um, AN minus the origin is, is another one of our, um, our spheres, which is nice. It's real and it's complex points as the homotopy type of, of spheres. Um, a last uh, good one was the one that we, we saw um, uh, yesterday, so we were looking at Pn over Pn minus 1 um, as a sphere, um, and uh, this is 
S1 smash N smash GM uh, smash N. Um, so to, to see that, we could say that PN over PN minus 1, we can just, um, uh, the, we've decided A1 is trivial, and we could move that PN minus 1 at infinity all the way down to the origin. Um, so this is the same as with um, as a, a line bundle over the PN minus 1. Um, so this is can be PN uh, uh, minus, minus the origin. Then we can um, cut out the PN minus 1 at infinity we were just looking at and be left with AN over AN minus the origin. And then that AN is just a point. Um, and uh, the, the, this, this quotient, that's the same um, uh, kind of diagram here that gives us a suspension. Um, so this is the suspension of uh, AN minus the origin, showing that um, that's, that's that kind of sphere. Uh, so um, uh, we can make uh, sphere bundles out of, uh, or we can make uh, tom, tom spaces um, out of uh, vector bundles, and that's going to be useful in, in viewing smooth schemes like manifolds. Um, uh, so uh, let's let uh, V to X be an algebraic uh, vector bundle. Um, the Tom space of V, um, we can define it as V over V minus the zero section. Let's just, just call, that, call that X. Um, and this is equivalent to if we took um, by the same argument that was that was up here, if we add a single trivial bundle to to V, so this is the trivial bundle, trivial line bundle. And divide out by the projectivization of V, um, uh, where that, that coordinate is zero. Um, that's that's another uh, good way to view a uh, Tom space. It's, uh, it's, so we're always in, in spaces in this homotopy theory of spaces. Sorry, what was the question? So, like, so uh, after going through all these instructions, what is S1 and ah, it's, a, it's an inclusion. So a given, so if, um, if you have S, a simplicial set like S1, we can, um, S can be viewed inside the presheaves of smooth K um, because it's, Thanks. So it's constant. Um, uh, uh, so we, we've we've got Tom spaces. If in, in fact, if V was a virtual vector bundle, um, we could also make a Tom spectrum, um, and uh, we may want to do that. Well, we will want to do that um, uh, in, in a bit, um, but we'll, we'll think of them like uh, Tom spaces. Um, uh, so uh, let's let's advertise the purity theorem of Morel and Vavatsky, uh, which will give us our our neighborhoods around points. So um, we've got Z and X, a closed immersion. Uh, and uh, smooth K, and the the theorem says uh, that if um, uh, if we look at x over x minus z in topology, we could take a little um, tubular neighborhood uh, around z um, uh, and view that as sort of the neighborhood mod, mod its boundary. Um, uh, that uh, this is the, the Tom space of the normal bundle uh, of, of z and x. So um, some examples is if um, z is spec k, um, inside uh, um, affine space or uh, any smooth scheme, um, then we have, and U is uh, Zariski, so open neighborhood of Z. Then we have U over U minus Z 
is uh, the Tom space of the normal bundle, um, and, and that's just a, a vector space. Um, so uh, that's just uh, uh, Pn over Pn minus one because the we just got a single vector space. Um, so there's um, there's our, our sphere around our point. And this example can work if you don't have a, a rational point. So we could have a point whose coefficients were k of z uh, in x. And again, u, u is before. And then we'll get um, the pn over k of z over pn minus 1 k of z, or the smash product of this sphere with this um, this other space, spec k of z with a disjoint uh, base point. Yes? Why do I have to take the open neighborhood? Like, why do I, what would go wrong if I said action? You did nothing, yeah. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Thanks. Um, Okay, um, so um, oh, I, I, I did want to say though, let's nothing goes wrong, but let's compare uh, with uh, z a point on a manifold. We like taking u a small ball around. Uh, z, if we, um, if this is really just a ball, then the suspension of the boundary of this ball um, yeah, can be identified with u over u minus z. Um, so if we were interested in maps between the boundary of, of u, hey, we could just look at their suspension anyway, take the degree of that. Um, uh, okay, so um, uh, let's, let's declare victory on um, on constructing uh, A1 homotopy theory. Um, so um, another thing we wanted to use uh, yesterday was the, the target of this, this degree map, which was um, the growth and fit group. So let's, we're going to talk about the, the growth and fit group and um, Milner K theory. Uh, so um, let's, let's recall from uh, yesterday, that this is the um, the group completion uh, on uh, of uh, isomorphism classes um, of uh, symmetric uh, non-degenerate. Bilinear forms over K, and I'm going to recall the um, presentation two. So it had generators that were one-dimensional forms, um, and uh, it had relations, and these corresponded to. I'm going to recall this as well. The uh, form on the one-dimensional vector space um, that sends x, y to a x, y. And uh, relations um, we have that really our generators are in k star mod k star squared. Um, and we've got a ring structure on, that we made a group, but um, this gives a ring structure, the tensor product. And um, the tensor product of these two one-dimensional forms is, is the, the one-dimensional form AB. And um, we have um, the sort of money relation. Uh, uh, A plus B is A plus B plus AB, A plus B. And this implies um, a relation about a very special form, the, the hyperbolic form. So this implies that um, 1 plus minus 1, which we'll define to be h, the hyperbolic um, 
is the same as uh, a plus minus a um, uh, for for all a. Um, uh, uh, okay, um, so let's uh, let's look at this group. Let's let's state the Milner conjecture. It's a it's a huge achievement of of a one homotopy theory, and it's pretty. Um, I... Plugging, plugging which one into? The money oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But, sorry, this is what you mean. Oh, so we need that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you. And and yeah. And b is not zero. There, there's, there's a bunch of yeah. Thank you, Jordan. Is it easy to say why that's a natural relation to impose that last? You know, it's it's elementary. It's it's in lamb, for instance. You can. Uh, uh, the, uh, you know, you, you play games with um, bilinear forms and you, you show that that's, uh, um, that that's all you need. Um, uh, so um, let's, let's look at some invariants on bilinear forms, try to see or try to justify the fact that for many fields that folks like, there are algorithms to decide if various sums of generators are equal to other ones. Like it's often hard if you just have generators and relations to know whether you've really pinned down your element. But in fact, in the growth and deep fit group, you have uh, available a lot of tools to, to actually compute with this. And um, some of these tools are in the forms of these invariants coming from the Milner conjecture. So let's talk about that. We have uh, a rank homomorphism that takes, um, a bilinear form to the dimension uh, of V, and the fundamental ideal is the kernel uh, of the rank homomorphism. And we have a filtration of the growth and fit group by uh, powers of the fundamental ideal. Uh, and um, the quotients of these powers are uh, by this beautiful uh, Milner conjecture are both Atoll cohomology groups uh, and Milner K-theory groups. Uh, so let's define uh, Milner K-theory. It's we take the free tensor algebra on K star um, the so um, you add them, and then the, the vector space gets. So the, thanks. So the, this is a group homomorphism. Um, on, on K star, oops, this is a, it's an, uh, we take the tensor algebra, which is a direct sum of, of tensor products of copies of, of K star. And uh, we divide out by the Steinberg relation. So we divide out by the ideal generated by I um, uh, one minus I, and the degree n part of this is when I is uh, um, well. We could we could even say I here. So these are the Milner K theory groups. And uh, the Milner conjecture, which is a theorem of Vavotsky. It's the i as the kernel of the rank, and then the ith graded piece is i to the n. I mean, it's i to the i, the nth graded pieces. Too many i's. It's powers of, the, of this fundamental ideal. Um, uh, what's, the, what's the relation between the subject of i on the left hand and the right hand side? It's the, um, uh, we, we take the i fold the tensor power of K star. So our degree I piece is K star t tensor K star dot 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 tensor K star I times. Um, so uh, the Milner conjecture, uh, which is a theorem of Vavodsky, says that the uh, nth uh, Milner K theory um, we've got a map to I n over I n plus one mapping A n A one tensor tensor A n to this product 
uh, 1 minus uh, a1 dot dot dot, 1 minus a n. Um, uh, we've also got a map from uh, k star to um, h1 of k with coefficients in z mod 2, the atoll cohomology, given by the, the, Kummer, the Kummer map from, uh, from the short exact sequence. Algebraic closure, algebraic closure, z mod 2. So we can make a, a map from Milner K31, which is K star to H1, and then use the cup product to have this go to Hn. And uh, the Milner conjecture is that these are all isomorphisms, so that these um, associated graded of this filtration is the tall cohomology or the Milner K theory. And in particular, if you have a field whose uh, nth atoll cohomology with Z mod 2 coefficients doesn't vanish, um, uh, then you've, you've got something non-trivial in this piece. So we can view the maps, IN to IN over IN plus 1 uh, as invariants on, I'm going to say GW because some of them extend to growth and decay group even though they're defined on uh, IN. Um, when N is 0, we get the rank. When N is 1, we get the discriminant. Um, so, um, uh, Yes. Thank you. Um, uh, and uh, technically, this is only for n greater than one because I didn't use the vid group. But uh, so, um, and I wanted to say that the discriminant it takes the discriminant of beta. So if beta is this form, b cross beta k, then the discriminant of beta is the determinant of what we get beta vi vj when v1 through v uh, n rank of v is a basis. Uh, n equals 2 is the uh, hasse witt invariant, um, uh, which you can get by, by taking, um, uh, well, um, uh, sums of, of cup products of, um, of A1, of, of, well, it, the, let, let's, the Hasevit invariant, another classical, very explicit uh, invariant, I, I think it's written in the notes. Um, uh, so, uh, and then uh, N equals 3 is the Arison invariant. Um, uh, and uh, the other Invariants don't have names, um, but they, they don't vanish in general. And um, for uh, various fields, it may suffice to check that some of these invariants are equal. For instance, the finite field, we saw that we could just check the rank and the discriminant. Um, uh, for uh, Q, we could go up to the Hasevit invariant. We could also view for, for Q as um, looking at um, associated invariants for each prime plus, plus R. This gives explicit algorithms for testing whether you have sums of gener whether given a sum of generators, uh, it's equal to some other sum of generators. So if you want to calculate, um, uh, you, you've, got, you've got books, books worth of tools um, to manipulate uh, elements in this, in this group. Um, so, Um, let's, uh, there's a, the, the growth and fit group is the zeroth graded piece of, uh, milner vit K theory. This is, which is also, um, a homotopy group of spheres, um, in, in a one homotopy theory. Um, uh, and this is, uh, due to, uh, Hopkins and Morell. And we'll give um, explicit generators and relations, I think, and Mike can, can say anything about, he, Mike knows more about this than I do, but I, I think those explicit generators, they come associated with maps of spheres. 
um, and uh, uh, so we've got uh, generators um, A uh, for A and, and K star of degree one and eta of degree minus one and we have um, relations uh, so eta commutes with everything um, we have a Steinberg relation um, uh, when we um, take a B which is in degree one um, we can take a plus B plus eta um, a B degree two um, and uh, eta times H is zero um, H is the same H from before but we're in we're in the wrong group so we need to we need to explain this um, so uh, GW of K is um, uh, uh, isomorphic to the zeroth um, degree piece of the milner witt K theory by sending A uh, to 1 plus eta A. So in particular, 1 plus minus 1, which was H, um, goes to 2 um, plus uh, eta um, uh, uh, minus 1. Um, uh, uh, so, um, uh, let's let's go back to um, the uh, the discussion of degree. So we have this this degree theorem. Yes. yes. And then we see that it's nicely in degree zero too, because eta is degree minus one and a. Thanks. Um, um, so uh, this says that um, this this magical combination of generators is homotopy groups of spheres, eta corresponding to to a Hopf map, um, and uh, so we have that. Um, the, if we have uh, S1 smash N homotopy classes of maps, GM uh, smash J to S1 smash N, GM uh, smash uh, R, um, that this is isomorphic, and actually uh, this is uh, isomorphic to K Milner Witt of R um, uh, minus J, let's say, N. Uh, greater than or equal to two, um, and in, in particular, uh, we had our example. So, e.g., the when uh, J and R are also n, um, with our discussion of spheres, we have this. Uh, so um, this this degree um, satisfies this principle that uh, it uh, works very nicely with with the real and, and complex numbers. Um, so uh, let's let k equal r, uh, and then we have um, homotopy classes of maps pn pn minus one going to the growth and bit group of k. Um, I feel like I didn't uh, successfully advertise um, what a fantastic theorem this is. Um, uh, I think uh, we're going to see it in a second again to do some oriented Chow groups, and maybe I'll, I'll make it um, more exciting to you um, the, the next time around, but I'm going to assert that, that this is a, a fantastic thing to have. Um, uh, one of the nice properties of just the, the degree zero part is that we have this compatibility with, um, with real and, and complex points. So we take um, C points, uh, then we get an 
uh, then Pn over Pn minus 1 becomes an S2n. And we can take the topological degree. So here we have this A1 degree. We could also take the topological degree, and that lands in Z. And uh, if we put the rank here, then this, this square commutes. Um, if we take the R points, uh, then we get an SN uh, on top. And homotopy classes of maps SN to SN. We have a degree down to Z. And if we take the signature, which was this number of ones minus number of minus ones, um, when we diagonalize, um, this, uh, this also commutes. Uh, so um, we we've sort of can simultaneously read off the, the real and, and complex uh, degrees of a map between uh, schemes over R. Um, so uh, these, um, these groups, these homotopy groups, uh, can, are homotopy sheaves uh, because we could view um, these maps uh, as maps from sort of varying, um, uh, we, we, could, we could form a sheaf by smashing with U plus and sheafifying. So the, um, uh, these are, are not only global sections of sheaves, they, they are sheaves. So um, the growth and Vit group, K, Milner, Vit, and Milner K theory um, are, well, of K, are global sections of sheaves. There's a, a method, uh, for example, in Morel's book, or a procedure for producing an unramified sheaf from the values on fields. So for, to produce a sheaf, K Milner Vit star from uh, K Milner Vit star of E, where uh, E is a field containing K. Um, the procedure is we want to know what the sections are on some scheme Y. Well, we look at its function field, and we take the milner vit k theory of the function field, and then we want to check to see which ones are really defined over all of Y and not over the generic point. So we're going to give, uh, so we have the data of k milner vit on uh, fields plus um, various uh, uh, boundary maps that will tell us when you extend from the generic point to all of um, Y, so we have, um, we're going to need some, uh, some, some boundary maps, some residue uh, maps here. So let's let, um, let's let V, uh, so plus um, the data of, for each valuation, we have V to Z union infinity um, evaluation, and then O of V is those elements in E of um, non-negative valuation. Um, and we're going to choose a uniformizer, pi uniformizer. So the valuation of um, uh, pi uh, is 1. And then we have this residue field, k of v. Um, uh, and uh, uh, the, the sections on these fields E that we just wrote down with this awesome presentation, um, plus um, some uh, residue maps, uh, will allow us to define a sheaf, uh, K Milner Vit. So uh, we have a residue map from K Milner Vit of E to K Milner Vit minus 1 of the, the residue field. Um, and uh, you can write it down in terms of formulas. Uh, if you take uh, pi a1 dot 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 a n with the, um, with the ai units in, in O, um, then this goes to the reduction. 
Um, and if you don't have the pi in there, it goes to zero. So then um, the sections on, on O, <laughs> uh, is the kernel of, um, of the residue homomorphism. And uh, then there's a procedure for, um, for making a sheaf, um, is a sheaf. And um, the fact that it is um, a stable homotopy group, uh, homotopy sheaf, is going to give us some transfers, which we, we saw we were using them uh, last time. So it's a, it's a sheaf. It's a stable homotopy sheaf. This is going to lead us um, to some transfers. Um, uh, we'll, we'll start with that, uh, with that next time. Thank you. Questions? For the boundary map, where does the eta go? For the boundary map, where does the eta go? Uh, to itself. Okay. Can you say again how you computed the class of the hyperbolic plane a couple pages ago under the map? Yeah. Um, so we, we've got, um, I think that the tricky thing is that the eta times one goes away, and we just had the eta times times minus one. So the um, uh, we've got um, one plus the one here. It's uh, it, it's the identity element in K star. So it's just a confusion with multiplicative versus additive notation. Um, so the the one um, uh, uh, bracket one. Um, Uh, I'm going to say bracket one is zero. Uh, okay, uh, further questions? Okay, uh, let's take a break to 11.30 and thank Kirsten again.